I think the risks to gold here are clearly skewed to the upside considering the macro environment that we are in. Um, gold safe haven status is very much in place. Um, the di the diver diversification angle um, is very much in play and the decline in yields that we've seen just makes gold as an attractive diversifier and hedge against uncertainty here. I can certainly understand from a diversification standpoint, but it is not always a safe haven. In fact, there have been periods in the past we've had really like uh, heavy selling off for the likes that we've got today where gold has actually fallen in tandem with equities particularly like during the GFC when we'd see you know big sustained moves to the downside and sometimes it's because of margin calls and people have to liquidate you know positions like gold to cover other areas is that a scenario that you see potentially playing out in the short term yeah, there is definitely a dynamic where gold allocations are um, adjusted as um, relative to total total uh, assets under management, for instance. Um, that tends to fluctuate. Um, but ultimately, I think gold outperforms during these scenarios. Um, and the core uh, view of wanting to hold gold as a, as a diversifier remains in place. And I would expect dips to ultimately be bought as long as uncertainty remains high. So we're currently sitting at 1681. We touched 1700 earlier on today, so we're, we're off those highs. Where would you see gold heading over the short, medium, and longer term? In the short term, I think there, there is a potential to retest the highs break above uh, 1700, especially if um, uncertainty escalates further from here. Um, in the, in the long run, or looking towards the latter part of the year, um, if the global economy recovers, um, there is uh, potential for yields to normalize, then gold could give back some of those gains. Um, but as I said, I think it's very difficult really to see right now. Um, and if anything, the downside should, should ultimately be well supported. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.